In previous videos, I went over simple machines and bicycle gearing. In this video, we're going to take a more in-depth look at gearing ratios. In the gear set, there is a driver gear, or where the torque and motion is coming from, and a driven gear that turns as a result of the torque and motion from the driver gear. So the way a standard gear ratio works is that you take the driven gear's number of teeth and divide by the driver gear's number of teeth. So in this example, we have a driven gear with 56 teeth and a driver gear with 15 teeth. If we divide the number of driven gear teeth by the number of driver gear teeth, we get a gear ratio of 3.73. This means that every time the driven gear rotates around once, the driver gear has to rotate around 3.73 times. In my bicycle gearing physics video, I took the driver gear over the driven gear. This resulted in the velocity gear ratio, or how many times the driven gear rotates around from one revolution of the driver gear. In this example, every time the driver gear rotates around once, the driven gear rotates around 0.268 times. We get this by taking the number of driver gear teeth and dividing by the number of driven gear teeth. Now let's talk about torque. If torque is gone from the driver gear to the driven gear, the force on each gear is the same. There is a change in the distance the force is from the center of the gear. So to get the torque at the driven gear, you can multiply the torque at the driver gear times the gear ratio. To prove this, we can see that the formula for torque is force times radius. If we take the force times the radius of the driven gear and divide it by the force times the radius of the driver gear, we get the gear ratio. Notice in this equation that the force is the same, so we are really just taking one gear's radius over the other gear's radius. Taking the driven gear's radius over the driver's gear radius is another way to find the gear ratio. Doing some rearranging of formulas, we get that taking the torque at the driver gear and multiplying it by the gear ratio results in the torque at the driven gear. To finish off this video, let's go over gear trains. To calculate the gear ratio of a gear train, you can multiply the sub-gear ratios together. In this example, we can take the first driven and driver gear ratio and multiply times the second driven and driver ratio. We get a gear ratio of 13.18. And that concludes this video. Hopefully I earned a like or subscription. Thank you for watching.